हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर रूपाली शेड़के वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एट शोलापुर नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द वन ऑफ द माइक्रो सॉलिड स्टेट डिवाइस दैट इज अ वैरेक्टर डायोड लर्निंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द working and construction of the varactor diode they can also know the application areas of the varactor diode these are the contents which we are going to discuss now before discussing with the varactor diode uh, details we should know what is a resistance a negative resistance device because the varactor diodes are working on the principle of negative resistance now what is exactly what devices uh, why these are called as a negative resistance device because in the negative resistance device allow it allows the current in a one direction at which its resistance is very low this is obtained when it is in a reverse bias when the diode is connected into the reverse bias and similarly it does not allow the current to flow in a other direction when its resistance is very high and this is a during the reverse bias condition this devices works on the principle of resistance negative resistance means what this diodes are been connected in a reverse bias the symbol of the varactor diode it is like a, it is a, it has a two terminals anode and cathode La, it the sim or uh, it is been a capacitance a capacitor is represented uh, with the symbol of the diode here in series it is a parallel plate so parallel plates of the capacitors why it is been shown as a capacitor because the between the two layers there is a depletion regions form and that depletion regions acts like a capacitance oh yeah now you can see here this is a symbol here p type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and n region is connected to the positive terminal of the battery so the depletion regions acts like a capacitance between these two region these diodes are also known as a very cap diode because there is a variable capacitance so they are also known as a very cap diodes and also they are used as a variable tuner tuning the circuit so they can act as a tuning diodes also this was this diodes was first developed in 1961 by the pacific uh, pacific uh, semiconductors and the uh, importance of this diode is that they are working in a reverse bias condition and uh, as the uh, the capacitance is changing based on the applied voltage so based on the voltage the capacitance is changing and this condition is observed in a reverse bias condition now the as uh, the that depletion regions we are uh, the region is known as a uh, capacitance over there the jun the junction capacitance we can call and this as the equation of the capacitance is given by epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d as this d goes on increasing this g c junction capacitance goes on changing now let us see the instruction stru internal structure of the varactor diode here there are the two regions it is been shown of the n region n type and n plus uh no ne not necessary that uh, it should be a n plus the it can be a n also the two regions are being so because the electrons are excited to move there are more numbers of electrons are excited to move towards the p type of material mm. uh this for that purpose this is this is the internal structure it is shown across about this n type of material p type of material is known which is represented by the epitaxial layer the what is the meaning of this epitaxial layer the meaning of the epitaxial layer is that the width is not constant but it goes on changing depending upon the applied voltage so this is not constant it is epitax epitaxially changing uh, so uh, even if it is exponentially changing uh, the width is been changed exponentially 
and there are two terminals p type and two and n type uh, two terminals are been over here metal contacts are done and this uh, uh, varactor diode are developed on the heat sink material now as we are telling that uh, the the junction is been created in the uh, at the p type of an n type of layer that uh, junction acts like a capacitor and that capacitance is directly depends upon the applied voltage the applied voltage is a reverse bias it is exponentially depends upon the applied reverse voltage here uh, n can if for example if you consider i uh, capacitance is directly proportional to the minus 1 this is because the as the d increases its uh, value it goes on decreasing now when uh, let us see how the equivalent circuit is been represented here yeah at, at this junction there is a resistance you can see a resistance is created No, it is not visible, sorry. Yeah, you can see uh, here is a resistance equal in the equivalent circuit and a uh, junction resistance. This we are calling it as a RJ and here we we are representing the capacitance which is called as a junction capacitance now to this they are parallel parallelly and here will be the resistance plate resistance which is in the series and there will be a plate capacitance for the leads which we are going to connect see the similarly this circuit is uh, here we are representing the equivalent circuit these are the junction capacitance and junction resistors and these are the two plate we are connecting series resistance and plate capacitance this is the equivalent circuit of the varactor diode. Now, the working of the varactor diode, as we are telling that the diode is being connected in the reverse bias, the numbers of holes from the P regions are made to uh, move across the negative terminal of the battery. When it is connected in the reverse bias, the holes are moved towards the negative terminal of the battery and the electrons move towards the positive terminal of the battery due to which a depletion region goes on increasing. As the depletion region goes on increasing, the D of the value goes on, the distance between these two regions goes on increasing. As the distance increases, its capacitance, the junction capacitance goes on decreasing. So, when we see the characteristics gap of this, the as the reverse bias uh, as the reverse bias increases its junction capacitance goes on this uh, capacitance value goes on decreasing the applications of the varactor diode the varactor diode is used as a control oscillator they are used as a parametric amplifier they are used as a frequency multiplexer they are used as a tuning circuit also they are used as a phase lock loop and they can be also used as a frequency synthesizer 
these are the few references for referring the contents. Thank you.